Hello and Assalamu Alaikum. This is lecture number 28. And in this part of the lecture, I will be discussing about generator drives. There are various types of drives, and uh, drive selection is important for maximum efficiency. Also, the cutout speed selection is an important parameter that defines the overall performance of a wind turbine. In recent decades, permanent magnet generators have been gradually used in wind turbine applications due to their high performance density and low mass. Often these machines are referred as permanent magnet synchronous generators and are considered as the machine of choice in small wind turbine generators. So, uh, there are mainly uh, three types of wind speed uh, uh, drives uh, that can be selected for choosing the optimum uh, efficiency or operation point of a wind turbine. The first one is the wind uh, uh, one fixed uh, speed drive. During the first half of 1990s, uh, the uh, Germans developed a semi-fixed speed system that was comprising an induction generator that was fitted with fast reacting power electronics. That was called the rotor current controlled or RCC systems. These systems allow an instant temporary 10% rotor speed increase when the wind gust hits the rotor. The extra energy that was contained in the wind gust was temporarily stored in the rotor speed acceleration and released again once the blade angle has been readjusted and the rotor returns to its rated speed. So, the design was simple and the induction generator inherently without any power electronics control and a fixed speed machine was used. The low turbine speed converted to high speeds via mechanical gearbox. The circuit breaker was used to disconnect the generator when the generated power rises above the rated power so that a safety precaution is introduced and the system is not damaged. The major drawbacks of the one uh, fixed speed drive system was that it never captures power at maximum rotor efficiency. Annual energy yields depended upon the uh, selected gear that was being used in the one speed fixed drive and different ratios for different distributions at different sites were needed for maximum power generation. So the applications that used the one fixed speed drive were limited to small machines. This in, is an example graph of annual energy production in megawatt hour for a certain one fixed speed wind turbine that has a maximum efficiency of optimum gear ratio of 25 for this particular site. Similarly, uh, uh, the second one is the two fixed speed drive. So in two uh, speed, uh, uh, two fixed speed drive, high energy capture uh, was captured and it reduced the generator loss and gear noise. The gear noise arises due to the vibration in gears uh, when the wind turbine is rotating at high speed. The speed changed by uh, the uh, gear ratio that was uh, uh, adaptively changed. Two operating speeds corresponds to 
two gear ratios and they must be on the opposite side of the expected annual average wind speed i will show that in the next graph the one was for the low speeds and the one was with high speeds in early designs two speed operations achieved was achieved by switching between the generators via belt drive also it was done by designing the induction generator to operate at two speeds the two separate stator windings with two different number of poles were the main concept that was being implemented by the two fixed speed drive induction generators the two speed technology for fixed blade rotor with stalled type design available for the machines that were capable of generating electricity less than 1 megawatt so this is an example of power production for two speed uh, uh wind turbines the dotted one shows the graph with low gear ratio and the solid line indicates the graph with higher gear ratios the next is the va uh, variable speed power electronics or the vari variable speed wind turbine a variable uh, speed wind turbine is one in which uh, uh, which is uh, specifically designed to operate over a wi wide range of rotor speed it is in direct contrast to fixed speed wind turbine where the rotor speed is approximately constant or it is kept constant using different gear ratios the reason to vary the rotor speed is to capture the maximum aerodynamic power in the wind as the wind speed varies with respect to minutes hours and days the aerodynamic efficiency or uh, the coefficient of power for a fixed uh, uh, fixed bla uh, blade uh, pitch angle is obtained by uh, operating the wind turbine at uh, the optimal uh, tsr or the tips speed ratio the advanced power electronics controls continuously adjust the pitch to optimum uh, optimum rotational speed at uh, various wind speed the constant speed uh, rotor designed to shed high wind speed gust but variable speed operation uses these gusts to generate electric power power electronic controls allow the wind turbine rotor to speed up in high winds therefore uh, reducing the torque fluctuation on the derived terrain so it means the lesser the fluctuation the lesser torque fluctuation uh, the reliability will be increased and the lesser torque fluctuations uh, as compared to the fixed wind turbines means that the reliability will be increased and the maintenance will be reduced so the variable uh, speed power electronics then uh, converts the variable frequency and voltage to a fixed frequency and voltage using Uh, PWM uh, controlled uh, thyristor. So the benefit using uh, this technique is the higher energy yield. The limitation associated with uh, this type of technology is the losses and the cost of the power electronics that are being uh, used to, uh, basically to uh, convert the variable frequency and voltage to a fixed uh, frequency and voltage. Uh, are the controllers and uh, they uh, basically add an additional cost moreover high frequency power uh, quality degrading noise is another factor that is associated 
with uh, uh, this type of technology. The next is the Sherbius variable speed drive induction. The speed of an induction generator can be uh, changed by either changing the rotor resistance or introducing an external voltage signal with uh, frequency corresponding to desired slip. The slip power is associated with this uh, type of uh, uh, mechanism. The slip power is a part of uh, the air gap power which is not converted into mechanical power. So it is not uh, uh, with uh, uh, this uh, desired slip. Uh, it is not possible in squirrel cage machine. Therefore, the wound rotor machines with slip rings uh, is employed. The rotor is connected to external variable frequency source while the stator is connected to the grid. This uh, is also known as a doubly fed uh, induction machine. The double effect induction uh, generator system is a popular system in which the power electronic interface controls the rotor currents to achieve the variable speed that is necessary for maximum energy capture in variable uh, wind speeds. The static uh, Chevius uh, drive provides the uh, speed control of a wound rotor motor uh, below the synchronous speed the portion of the uh, rotor AC power is uh, converted into DC by a diode bridge and the controlled rectifier works as an inverter and converts the DC power back into AC and feeds it back into AC source. So, using uh, this type of technology, the uh, cost is uh, increased. Moreover, the complexity associated with uh, this uh, machine uh, is increased. Uh, the complexity of this machine offset is uh, even greater, uh, offset by even greater benefits in uh, larger machines. The lower uh, rating uh, high speed turbine may be directly coupled to uh, generator without uh, the uh, requirement of a separate gearbox or power electronic uh, converter. Uh, so uh, the control is achieved by uh, belt driven uh, pitch control system. The research is underway on uh, larger low speed uh, wind turbines. Wences of uh, Germany uh, installed 1.2 megawatt prototype in 2013 which uses permanent magnet uh, synchronous generator with belt driven pitch system. Also multi uh, bird medium speed that is around 150 revolutions per minute technology. This technology uh, has uh, is uh, developed and uh, is successfully tested in Germany and it employs single stage gearbox and a permanent magnet marine type uh, generator to produce 5 megawatt uh, electricity. So now I will discuss about the uh, drive uh, selection. The advantages of uh, variable uh, speed systems over fixed speed systems are uh, that 20 to 30 percent more en uh, energy yield and uh, 50 to, uh, 15 to 20 percent more yield in lower uh, wind speed area uh, uh, is enough uh, to uh, make them uh, viable. Uh, the lower mechanical stress that is the blade speed uh, speeds up thereby eliminating the torque spikes uh, compared to the fixed speeds uh, system in which they are not allowed to uh, speed up and the third is less electric power fluctuation the rotor and inertia works as a buffer to eliminate the uh, fluctuation and the reduced noise at uh, lower speed 
the current and voltage harmonics in variable speed systems is a basic uh, concern that uh, we are uh, uh, must uh, take into account uh, using the derived uh, uh, selection the current market share is 30% uh, 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 associated with the fixed uh, speed whereas the 40% of the two speed uh, 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 fixed uh, two uh, fixed speeds and 30% uh, is associated with a variable speed power electronic type with uh, the share of variable uh, speed power electronic system in that is increasing uh, every year so this is an uh, uh, exemplary chart of uh, the uh, different cutout speeds and the first one is that the cutout speed is defined at 18 meters uh, per second and its energy curve is uh, around over here uh, let's say it is uh, 10 and uh, this is the uh, cutout uh, speed uh, of when it is defined at 25 uh, meters uh, per uh, second so basically when we are uh, increasing uh, the speed limit the cutout speed limit from a lower limit to a higher limit the area under the curve uh, is uh, basically increasing so the overall energy yield when e uh, at the lower uh, speed, uh, speed uh, cutout speed is less as compared to uh, the annual energy yield uh, that is defined as e2 area under the curve that is uh, represented by e2 so uh, higher uh, cutout speed uh, means that the area under the curve and hence the annual energy yield production will be higher however the higher uh, cutout speed uh, will uh, require the extra um, gear ratios and power electronics to control uh, the uh, damages that might be associated with higher wind speeds so the higher energy uh, an annual energy yield a little bit uh, is uh, is associated directly with uh, the increase in uh, cost so these are the uh, some uh, parameters uh, that we are used uh, in designing the uh, wind turbines uh, we have uh, uh, we have seen them earlier a is the area like d is the diameter uh, uh, diameter uh, this is the uh, density hm is humidity uh, when design consideration the uh, turbines uh, should be placed two to four times the rotor diameter apart from the uh, crosswind direction while they should be eight to twelve times the rotor diameter apart in the wind direction we have uh, seen uh, this uh, strategy is being used in uh, developing wind forms to basically negate the shadow effects and also we have uh, uh, defined uh, and observed the effects of frictional coefficients uh, alpha that is associated uh, with the type of landscape that is being used for example in uh, lakes oceans and uh, deserts which have a smoother surface and hard ground uh, the uh, air friction uh, the friction that is being uh, faced by the flowing air is less so its friction, frictional coefficient is less however in the cities where uh, there are tall buildings and towers uh, the frictional coefficient alpha is greater